prove mathematically that evolution is, is just a joke. It couldn't possibly happen. Richard Dawkins, for example, uh, one of the leading evolutionists in his book, uh, The Blind Watchmaker, he acknowledges that the nucleus of every cell, plant, animal, or human, has a database larger than the 30 volume set of the Encyclopedia Britannica. All life, plants, animals, and man, are made up of cells. Each cell is a miniaturized city performing the complex functions required for life to exist. The cell membrane is self-repairing and consists of special proteins that monitor what is outside of the cell as well as select which molecules are allowed to enter. These proteins act as pumping stations, controlling the import of nutrients and the export of waste materials. Inside the cell, we find staggering complexity. For example, the endoplasmic reticulum is a transportation network with protein-producing factories called ribosomes. The ribosomes produce many types of specific proteins, while the ER channels them to precise locations. The Golgi bodies transport proteins to the exterior membrane, while lysosomes act as digestive organs that break down and recycle larger molecules into particles the cell can use. The mitochondria are the power plants of the cell, producing the fuel that the cell consumes. The nucleus contains the data center, which governs cell activity. Inside the nucleus, we find the chromosomes, which contain the DNA molecule that functions as a library and contains all the coded information needed for life. Billions of instructions are coded on this error-detecting and error-correcting self-replicating molecule. Only if all of these structures were created simultaneously could a cell function. For example, to produce DNA, a cell requires more than 75 different types of proteins. Yet, these proteins are only produced at the direction of DNA. The only solution to this dilemma is creation. The odds of getting DNA making protein on a roll of the molecular dice is like the odds of getting a 13 on a pair of gaming dice. The potential is not there. The probability is just plain zero. Evolution teaches that bacteria were one of the first life forms to evolve from chemicals. Many bacteria propel themselves with a type of miniature motor called a flagellum. These extremely efficient reversible motors rotate up to 100,000 revolutions per minute. The bacterial motor is similar to an electric motor. It has a filament that acts as a propeller, a universal joint, a stator and a rotor, and a drive shaft with bushings. Each part of the motor must function or the bacteria will die.
Since bacteria can start, stop, and change direction and speeds, they must have sophisticated sensors, switches, and control mechanisms. All of this is highly miniaturized. Eight million of these motors would fit in the cross-sectional area of a human hair. While bacteria are small, they are not simple. You know, I think probably the weakest link in all of evolution theory is the idea of the origin of life from non-living chemicals. It's probably easier to get from a cell to a person than it is to get from chemicals to life. Uh, the, the gap there is just so incredibly large. I'm convinced that life is so complicated, so complex, so intricately engineered that wherever life exists, God created it. It could not have come by natural processes. Life comes from a creator, and that creator tells us that he created life here on earth. Here we see it, unimaginably complex. It must have been created. I believe humans evolved to where we are today from single-celled organisms based on the, the theory of Darwinism and natural selection. I don't think that there was any sort of divine intervention. I believe evolution is um, pretty much proven theory. I don't believe in a higher order. Um, just because the fact that I haven't seen any, you know, proof or, you know, concrete evidence of that, and until somebody shows me, you know, that there is, then I'm going to have an inversion to organized religion, and I'm going to stay on the basis of chemical evolution. No life is simple. And all life shows the handiwork of a designer. Scientists know this, yet many believe in chemical evolution. Rather than be accountable to the creator God of the Bible. Next we will examine the evolutionary view that simple life has evolved into complex life.